All right, so how does all this stuff work? <laughs> First of all, there's a lot of screws and a lot of time to put all that crap together. Uh, just on the structure, uh, those wooden pieces were laser cut by Mark. Big thank you to Mark for getting me a bunch of these. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, they don't even all fit the same because those are all P5 panels, but they're not actually compatible because, well, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? So there's some orange labels that are compatible with the blues and there are some pinks where the holes are in the wrong place. That's why they look weird in the connection. Um, and those things were made for a certain kind The holes don't fit, so I had to use my soldering iron to burn the holes a bit wider and move them around. So that is for the structural part. Um, let's go back to the bus. So here we have an Electro, Electro Dragon uh, Active 3 board with three outputs, and that is absolutely awesome. It allows you to basically run three channels at the same time at full speed, get a better refresh rate. It also shows why I have those three sets of panels, three times nine, 27 panels total. And the way each bus works, goes to one panel. The output of one panel goes to the next one, and you can see the next panel upside down and upside down again. They reverse every time. That allows you to use the smallest little ribbon cable in between. It's nice for wiring and the bus length actually matters because the clock, um, if the cable's too long, eventually the clock doesn't get there in time and there's some clock sync issues. So yeah, it actually matters and having the shortest cable possible is good. However, it means I had to write code to reverse the frame buffer on every other panel because every other panel is upside down. Um, then the next problem is those pink, uh, those pink label panels and these pink label panels are actually not compatible either. Um, those older pink panels were misbuilt at the factory and the colors are reverse. Yes, the colors are actually reverse. So when you say, can I have blue, you get red. And you think, well, but isn't that labeled? Isn't there like, you know, here things that tell you what each color is? And there is, and it is completely ignored and completely wrong because Chinese factories suck and don't care. They could test it. Maybe they did test it and they still don't care. Um, so I had nine panels, they were all wrong. And well, I didn't want to throw them away. And I had to write software to swap all the colors for the first nine panels or the first three panels of each chain. I guess it's the cost of doing business with those things. Um, and then for power distribution, um, I have this 60 amp power supply. It's way too big, but I like it. It doesn't make noise. Um, only costs a few dollars more. And I have one power distribution here that goes to the bottom panels. I have one bigger cable going here to the second set of panels because those cables are only so long. And then that takes care of everything. So there you go, that's how the sausage is made.